math lesson 50. Welcome back, everyone. We're happy to see you this morning. Can everyone say hello? Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Let's get started with meditation. Very good. Our meditation. Yep, so take a seat. Two fingers. Very good. Show me two fingers. Find our heart center. center. Very good. Our other hands open in our laps. Help us relax. Take a deep breath. Good. Close our eyes. Try and relax your body and your mind. Focus on your center. Once we're able to feel it at our center, relax our other hand. Hang on to that feeling at your center. Energy is focused there. Aware of our breathing. Feel it at our heart center. Energy focus there. We're aware of our breath in and out. Allowing ourselves to be present. We feel calm and relaxed. Focused at our heart center, we are calm and relaxed. Nice job, everyone. We'll slowly open our eyes, come out of meditation together.
taking three deep breaths. Nice job. Ready, one. And two. And three, good. Very good. Okay, everybody up. We'll do our warm up together. What do we do first? Yeah, we stretch up. Stretch up. Like you're gonna touch the sky. Good. We can interlace our fingers. Press up. Ooh, my shoulder popped. Nice, stretch. And then? Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. Or? Wiggle. Wiggle, very good. And we can wiggle real fast. And we can wiggle real slow. Very good. Okay, what do we do next? That's right, we stretch down and touch our toes. Reach for your toes or the floor. Stretch. And then? Good, shake, shake, shake it out. Then what? Very good, we spin. How many times? Three times. Three times. But wait, first I want you to spin this way as fast as you can on one foot. Good. Very good, balance. All right, two, I want you to spin this way as slow as you can on one foot. Good job, this way. Takes a little bit of balance. Very nice, all right, so three. I want you guys to carefully spin and jump. Very good, good. All right, what's the last thing we do? Jump, how many times? Three times. Three times, but wait. When? I want you to jump as high as you can and forward. Very good, as high as we can and forward. Nice job. Two. I want you to jump as high as you can and backwards. Good, as high as we can, backwards. And three, carefully, I want you to jump and spin. Wow, very nice. All right, good. Back to our seats, we'll get started with today's lesson. All right. Today we're gonna to be talking about addition. addition. Who remembers addition? Yeah, what do we do when we add? Yeah, we bring them together. We make more, we add things together. Before we get into addition though, let's review a couple of the things that we've been talking about. First, let's review. Very good, this is our home. And when it looks like this, we know it's place value. Yeah, so we have our, we have our tens. Remember our teams, our teams of 10 go here. And then we have our ones, our ones go here. So if we had the number 15. Five teen? Nah. No, 15, 15. So what goes here? What number one. goes here? Two. One, that's right. The number one, and it's one team of 10. It would look like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, so one team of 10. So what number goes right here? Five. Five. One. Yeah, and we show that with five ones. Four. Two, three, four, five. five. So one team of 10, five ones. This was our place value. Yeah, so when we're looking at the number here, here is our tens. And here is our ones. Very good. Tens, ones. Tens, ones. So let's do one more example together. Looks a little different for us. Let's try this number. What number? 20. 20. Good. So 20. 
Here's our tens. Here's our ones. So, how many teams of ten? Four. That's right, two. So it would look like this. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, good. Oh, that one's smaller. Zero. Two teams of ten. How many here? Zero. Zero, very good. And a zero in our ones. Two teams of ten. Zero ones. Twenty. Tens. Ones. Okay? Okay. Good job. I know. It's dirty. Okay, the next thing we talked about over the next two lessons was comparing our numbers, right? Which one is more than, which one is less than, and which one is equal to each other. Yeah. So show me, show me with your arms, are less than, yeah, and greater than. We use our alligator, remember? Our alligator always eats, which one? Bigger or smaller? Bigger. Bigger. Our alligator always eats the bigger number. Good. All right, show me your equal to sign. Remember, our equal to sign looks like this. Or like this. Yeah. And we use it when the numbers are the same. The same. So let's take a look at... Twenty. All right, now listen to the question. Are these numbers the same? No. No, very good, they're not. So we don't use equal to. So which one is more? Twenty. Twenty. That's how we know our alligator wants to eat the bigger number. Like that, right? Okay. What about this one? And 16. Are these two numbers the same? No. No, they are not the same. So we don't use equal to. Which one is more? 16. 16, very good. So does our symbol go like this? No. Right? No. No, it doesn't, very good. Goes like this. Yeah. Excellent. All right, so let's try. Oh, I just did 14. What number? 19. 19 and 12, good. Are these two numbers the same? No, they're not the same. So we don't use equal to. Which one is more? 19. 19 is more. So our sign goes like this, right? No. No, very good. Goes like this. Yeah. Our alligator always eats more. Good. All right, last one. 11 and? 11. 11, good. Are these two numbers the same? Yeah. Yes. So what do we use? Show me. Good, we use our equal to sign. <laughs> 11 is equal to 11. Good, they are the same number. Very good. Comparing numbers. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about addition. Now we're gonna go back to adding things together with our new sets of numbers. Now that we can count all the way to 20. All right, so who remembers what we use for addition? The plus sign? You remember what that looks like? Show me what that looks like, plus. <gasps> Very good, yeah. Our plus sign looks like this, remember? Or like this, yeah, or a big T. Plus, plus. Remember, it's not an X, that's different. It has to be this way. Plus, like a little T or something. Yes, just like that. So this is our plus sign. When we see plus, that's how we know we add together. 
We put them together. <laughs> Plus, all right, so let's see if you guys remember how to do it. Let's try it with some smaller numbers. So what if I said? <gasps> what does it equal? Seven. seven, good. How did we know? Do we use, we could use our fingers, right? We could. Five plus two plus one plus two is seven. It does equal seven. Good. Seven. We're adding together. Very good. Yeah. Good. Let's try. Six plus four equals. Good. Ten. How do you guys know? Did you use your fingers? You could have. Six plus one, two, three, four. Ten. It equals ten. Good. All of our fingers are used. Good. So if we weren't using our fingers or we weren't just counting in our head, we could also use a number line. Do you remember how we talked about a number line? I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're too fast. Good. So remember, this is what a number line, a number line looks like. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Zero to ten number line. So what we do is we first find our first number. Six. So where's six? So do I start here? No. Do I start here? No. No. What about here? Yeah. yeah. So I start here. So we're adding together. We're doing plus. Do I go forward or backwards on my number line? Forward, forward right? Towards the bigger number. We're adding, so we're going towards bigger numbers. Forward. How many times do I go forward? Four. Four times, right? Plus four. So I want to go forward four times. One, two, three, four. So what's my answer? Ten. That's right. Ten. So this was another way that we could do addition using our number line. Okay, so today we're going to look at using our new sets of numbers that we learned in English. So what if we had... Much better. What number is this? Eleven. Plus. Plus. Three. Three. Fourteen. It does. How'd you know? You just counted in your head? All right, well, I'm going to show you guys. Since could we use, could we use our fingers? Show me 11 fingers. 11 fingers. Oh, we can't do it. Yeah. We don't have 11 fingers. We certainly don't have 14. Yeah. So today, we're going to learn how to add these bigger numbers using our number line that we just saw, our number line. So. All right. Very good. Very good with the counting. All right. I'll do zero here. One, two, three, four, five. Slow, slow. I can't keep up. Very good, everyone. Very good. All right. Whoa, lots of numbers. All right. We're going to use our number line to solve these addition equations. So where do I start on my number line? Do I start here? 
Here? Yes. Here at eight? No. What about here? Yes. Yeah, so I start at 11. That's the first thing I do. So we have the plus sign. We're adding. Do we go forward or backwards? Forward, because it's plus. Forward. How many times do I go forward? Three times. Three times. One, two, three. So what's my answer? 14. 14. 11 plus 3 equals 14. Good. We're going to use our number line. Let's try another one. So what if we had... 8. You guys are smart, but let's check it using our number line. So, where do I start? Eight. 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 Is eight here? No. Oh, whoa. Over here. So, I start on eight. It's a plus sign. Eight. Do I go forward or backwards? Forward. Forward, because it's plus, towards bigger numbers. How many times do I go eight. forward? Eight times. Whoa. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, good. So my answer is 16. 16. Very good. 16. See how helpful our number line can be? When we don't, when we can't count it up in our head for next number and we don't have enough fingers, number line is very helpful. We're going to do another one together. Yeah, the red's working good. Fourteen? Yeah, very good. All right, let's check it with our number line. Where do I start? Fourteen. At fourteen. Fourteen? No. No. Fourteen? No. Fourteen? Yeah. So we start at 14. It's a plus sign. So do we go forward or backwards on our number line? Forward. Forward, good. Towards the bigger number, forward. How many times? Six. Six times. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six. Ah, so what does it equal? 20. 20, very good. 20. 20. 20. Okay? okay? Good. All right, so the next thing I want to do is have you all, we're going to practice addition up to 20 using our number line. All right? So you all are going to get a strip of a number line, 1 to 20. Then you're going to listen to Teacher Shelby. I'll give you the equation, and then you all solve it. Show me your answers, okay? We're gonna practice together, so I'll give you just a few seconds to get your number lines passed out, and then join us back here and listen up. Take one and pass. Number line, and something to write with. Just like we practice, you're gonna show me our addition equation, okay? So listen up, make sure we're doing this together. Show me 12 plus 4. Show me on your number line how we do 12 plus 4. Very good, very good. Thank you. It is, I heard it. So 12 plus 4 equals 16. That's right. We started at 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 16. Good. Yeah, you guys need erasers. Nice. Show me. Very good. 16. Good job. All right, now clear our number line. Get ready for the next one. So show me 
15 plus 3. 15 plus 3. Very good. I want to see it on your number lines, too. 8? Is it 8 or 18? 18. Yeah, remember? 8, 18. Two different numbers. 18. Good. There you go, Nadia. 18. Good, Pat. Very good. All right, so we started at 15, and we went 1, 2, 3, and we landed on 18. Good. So 15 plus 3 equals 18. Good. Okay, clear our number lines. Get ready for our next one. Okay, show me on your number lines. 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5. Very good. What is it? 11. Good. Show me on your number line, Pata. Very good. 5. Yeah, it was plus 5. What'd you land on? 11. 11. Good. Very good. Did you start on six? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Eleven. Eleven. Good work. Yep, good work, everyone. Erase. We're going to do one more together. Hmm? Very good. All right, last one we'll do together. Show me on your number line nine plus eight. Nine plus eight. It's plus, so we're moving forward. Very good, very good. I heard it. Show me on your number line. Eight. Eight? Show me. Let me see. 17. Yeah, what number is that? 17. Yeah, you did it right. 18? 17. Let me see. Here we go. So we started at 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. So what number is that? Uh, 17. Yeah, 17. Good. So 9 plus 8 equals 17. Yeah. All right. So let's clean up our number lines. I'll come collect them. That's going to be it for this practice. I'm going to come pick up. Actually, you can keep your markers because you guys are going to use. We're going to hang on to our number lines because we're going to use them next for our game. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So next, we're going to play a game. Yay. Yay. We have played this game before. It's called Connect Four. I'll show you. Remember this game? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so this is our workspace, right? So teacher Shelby puts an addition equation on the board. We solve it using our number line. And then we find the answer. Yep, and we color it in, the answer, right? And when we get four in a row, we say, teacher Shelby, I win, I win. Remember? For example, if we had five plus five, it does 
does equal 10. That was one of our doubles, remember? 5 plus 5 equals 10. And spin. And spin. Yeah. All right, so here's 10. So we find 10. Where's the 10? Oh, here's one. And we cover it up. Right? Just one. There's two 10s. Don't cover up two. Just cover up one. All right? And then when we get four in a row, but we... Right? And we get a sticker. All right? Or it could be, could be four in a row this way. This two. I win, I win. Okay? So I'll pass out the boards. And again, I'll give you a second, everyone, to get organized with your number line strip and your board game. And then join us here, and I'll provide the equations. So listen up. Okay. All right? Uh, look. Thank you. You're welcome. Cold. Cold? Okay, are we ready to play the game? Everybody have their boards? All right, so first, let's look at nine plus five equals what? 14. Good, you can use your number line to figure it out. Nine plus five equals 14. Good. No 14. Oh, man. It's okay. That just means you skip it. Not all the boards are the same. Oh, man. We find 14 on our board and color it in. Just one. Just color in one. Very good. Good job. I'm sorry. It's going to be okay. I promise. <laughs> All right, ready for the next one? Let's do seven plus eight. Show me on your number line. Use this. Show me. Seven plus eight. Use your number line. Fifteen. Don't just wait for Prow to figure it out. Use your number line. Fifteen. Yeah. On here. Do it. Fifteen. Seven plus eight equals fifteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. So find 15, 1, 15 on your board, and cover it up. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, ready? Let's do 10 plus 10. <gasps> yeah, you guys knew that one. No. Equals 20. 10 plus 10 equals 20. <laughs> equals 20. So find 20 on your answer sheet. Color it in or cover it up. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that 16? No, 19. 19, yeah. Good. Good job. Okay, let's do. Nine plus seven. Use your number line. No. Show me on here. Nine plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
<laughs> Just cover one. 16, that's right. Now cover 22. You're missing 20. Look. This? Nine plus seven. Show me on your number line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sixteen. Yeah. So nine plus seven equals sixteen. So find sixteen on your board. Cover it up. Let's do 11 plus mm, 4. Equals 15. Mm -hmm. 11 plus 4. No, 15. No, 15? Yeah, 15. Good. 15. It's all right. If you don't have it, just skip it. No big deal. All the boards are different. Yeah. Good. All right, so just skip it. 15. So if you have a 15, find it on your board. Cover it up. No 15. I'm sorry. That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. 15. <laughs> she says, <laughs> I know, it stinks. Okay. Ready? So use your number line. Tell me what nine plus nine equals. Is that a guess? Show me on here. Show me. Hmm. No, 18 either? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Very good. So find 18. Find 18. And cover it up. No, 18. I'm sorry, no 18. I'm sorry. Good. Ready? Show me eight plus. Four. Eight plus four. Look on your number line. Eight. Eight. Plus four. Twelve. Good. Twelve. Oh, all right. We got a winner. Twelve. Eight plus four equals twelve. Do we have a winner? All right, let me get you a sticker, and then we'll keep going. All right, so let's see. That was, what was that, 12? Okay. Let's do, let's do 10 plus 7. Equals Yeah, show me on your number line. Show me. Well, show me. Come on. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Equals seventeen. Equals seventeen. Good. Yeah, cover seventeen. 
No working. 17. 17. Yeah, 17. Cover it up. There's a big 14. I know you want 14. I know you do. Oh, man. All right, so let's do 7 plus 6. What's 7 plus 6? Show me on your number line. There you go, Nadia. What is it? Very good. Seven plus six equals 13. And we have a winner. 13. Anybody else a winner? Good. A winner. Really nice job. Let's clean off our boards. Yep. This is going to be the last activity for our lesson today. Thanks so much for spending time with us. Can everyone say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.